is I've been playing a game with people recently on the site the last few weeks. It's called Save or Kill. One of these things you can save, one of them is erased from existence forever. This is, like, this is like marry, fuck, kill. Along those lines, sort of, but you'll see as we... So it's erased from existence forever. Yeah, so basically it's a way of picking which one you like more. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, the first one is Star Wars or Star Trek. Oh, by the way, they're not easy questions. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. You have to, you have to kill Star Wars. That's interesting. Well, Star Trek built something really important. Comic book conventions sort of started, you know, those Trek cons sure. were a community for people who didn't have friends. And, and I think Star Trek, as much as people love Star Wars, I think ultimately Star Trek over time has meant more to more people in a personal way. Because when, when it became a cult success, there was a lot of people who were very isolated, didn't have any friends, and then became friends through being Trekkies. I mean, there's a cultural significance to Star Trek that Star Wars, Star Wars is a fucking blockbuster movie. Like it's a big hit movie and everyone loves Star Wars. If you kill Star Wars, you're taking a ride out of Disneyland, you're taking a lot of meaningful <laughs> pop culture references away, but ultimately I don't believe that you're hurting anyone other than Mark Hamill. And, and I, I, you know what? You know what? George Lucas will be fine. He's fine. I bet he makes something else that's weird in the late seventies. Uh, Everyone involved will be fine. So you know what? I'm sorry. I, I like Star Wars more than I like Star Trek, but I can't do that to the Trekkies. I, that's a, honestly the most original and interesting answer I've gotten to that question yet. Uh, Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad? Kill it instantly. Kill it without a second thought. Wait, wait, wait so let me rephrase this. We want to, I want you to say what you're going to save. Oh, I'm going to save Game of Thrones. It's a book series. It has more integrity. It, it again, means more to more people. Uh, it, it, it allowed for a show to be created at a scale that was unheard of. People are like, oh, there's never been anything like Breaking Bad. Yo, did you even watch The Shield? Like, like I get Breaking Bad's really good. I love Breaking Bad. Sure, I But, but Game of you saved Game of Thrones. The Wire or Mad Men? The Wire. I don't watch Mad Men. <laughs> there it is. Uh, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? Oh, God. This is another one of those, like, I'm the captain of the ship questions. This is like Star Wars or Star Trek. It's a big, it's a big thing. Most people, well, I'm not going to say. You have to, oh, Backstreet Boys have better songs, but NSYNC leads to Justin Timberlake. When we say kill, we erase all the members from existence or them ever having existed as a group? The, oh, that's a good question. Um, never having existed as a group. Save Backstreet Boys. Justin Timberlake, Cream, rise to the top, my friend. <laughs> uh, Zelda or Mario? Oh, save Mario, Zelda, uh, Han Solo, or Indiana Jones? Well, I already killed Star Wars. The Beatles or Rolling Stones? Oh, that's... I just looked directly at the camera like I was looking for a lifeline. <laughs> right. Um... Well, one exists almost as a response to the other. No, not really. Only in cultural hindsight. Ah! Save the Beatles, save the Beatles. Fuck. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Fuck! <laughs> Fuck, dude! What? Oh, well, you clearly have to save Lord of the Rings because it leads to Dungeons and Dragons, which leads to modern fantasy, which leads to everything. It's the conglomeration of all the myth European myths into one world that creates what we think of as sword and sorcery and fantasy. Oh, uh, but I don't want to kill Harry Potter because it's so good! Um, God, that's the most annoying. I sound like Tom Haverford from Parks and Rec. I don't want to kill Harry Potter it's so good! No, I have to save Lord of the Rings because it's too important. I, if you, if you, you know what? That's a trick question. Because if you erase Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter would have never existed. Uh, Iron Man or Captain America? Culturally? No, just which one would you? No, no, but like, like never existed. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, save Cap. Save Cap. He allows for Marvel Comics. Uh, you'll enjoy this one. Uh, Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey? Twilight. You gotta save Twilight. Uh, this one's. Uh, Twilight. I don't get me wrong. Like, Twilight isn't perfect. But Fifty Shades of Grey sucks. Twilight doesn't suck. It's just sort of you know not for me. It's not my thing. Uh, this one's brutal if you're a film fan. Uh, Scorsese or Spielberg? <laughs> Ooh, 
I went, that's easy, and then I went, wait a minute. <laughs> right, yeah. Then you started thinking. Wait well, who has more good movies? Scorsese. Some could argue that Spielberg's impact is to, 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 with Jaws and Close Encounters. No, 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 no. That's clearly the problem is Steven Spielberg from like 1975 to 1995. Clearly that's who you're looking at when you say erase Steven Spielberg. Scorsese directed possibly my favorite movie. So what are you doing? Don't don't argue both sides. <laughs> Being Scorsese honest. is my favorite director. And I have to kill him. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, DC or Marvel? And you have to raise them like they never existed? Yeah. I can see the wheels spinning in the head. I like it. Do you know? You know how? Have you noticed how seriously I'm treating these yeah, questions? And I appreciate it, by the way. I, this is not a joke to me. Yeah. I, uh, DC or Marvel? Okay, so DC. Ultimately, Detective Comics. There would be no Marvel without DC. You have to save DC. I fuck fuck. I hated killing Marvel. That was. <laughs> Back, oh, back, oh! Let's jump into Back to the Future or Ghostbusters. That's an easier one. Back to the Future, a save. Ghostbusters is great, but like, it's one good movie. Back uh, to the Future is two, two and a third. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Sopranos or Walking Dead? Sopranos. Rowdy, Walking Dead. I just read the comic. Uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper or Andre the Giant? That this is for you. Again, you're looking at my personal enjoyment of someone versus, because you can talk about the wrestling, you can talk about the wrestling, but one way you're missing him in Princess Bride and the other way you're missing him and they live. Uh, believe me, I know. And I love both of those movies. One of them did more entertaining things in wrestling. One of them meant more to wrestling. Roddy changed the way characters were portrayed in wrestling. He, he was the first real charismatic, unpredictable nightmare. Uh, Andre was the first crossover freak, and really the only one. The one who was able through his, you know, and I say freak, that's a mean word, but that's what he was in the 80s, was look at this. But really through his charisma was able to tell a story up against a character like Hulk Hogan that no one else could, and I have to. Fuck, you know what? I have to, sorry, obey, sorry, Shepard Fairy, I have to save Roddy Roddy Piper because he ultimately becomes a crossover star and he's another guy from wrestling, like Hulk Hogan was, and is the beginning of everything that will become the Attitude Era. And on top of that, the fight scene in They Live. And the fight scene in They Live. Which is, by the way, Under the Giant, also part of a really good too long fight scene. It's, oh dude, that really sucked. That yeah. last one sucked. I was, uh, we're gonna go into other things, but I will say, I, I was gonna come up with more wrestling stuff for you, but then I realized that could take, like, the entire interview. Oh, we could just go. Yeah, so. I really, I really love that stuff. Oh, I know you do. That's the reason I included that wrestling thing <laughs> at the end. It's not listed. That's just for you. Uh, 